now I'm starting to get into the dicey stuff. It's not too bad at the moment, but it does get very rough uh, a little bit further up. Hey folks, how you been? So, uh, it's been a little while anyways for myself. I've been uh, busy changing careers and trying to get things all organized. But I got some time off from work and I figured, well, you know, let's go for a camping trip. Um, I've only got a couple days on this run right here for uh, to be able to go camping. So, I had, uh, during Mother's Day, I had actually taken my mother for a drive and I wanted to see if I could access this lake. I could, it was, uh, quite difficult in a couple spots anyways so hopefully the rain hasn't washed that particular area out and made it pretty much impassable anyways so I got a couple days doing this and then actually I have a uh, another trip coming up uh, my annual Bisco Tasty trip however I'm only going to be doing just a couple few days on that one too as well and uh, I got to get back and get ready for work so let's see what I can get myself into attempts and I'm finally out of that one. Uh, 
That was a little bit more washed out than the last time, I'll tell you that anyways. So I can't remember if that's the worst of it, but I know she was pretty tough. So I was kind of concerned there. I'm thinking, oh geez, you know, I can't, I don't think I could make it up there, but with these uh, wet conditions, but fortunately the good old Mitsubishi pulled her off. Let's see here. I think everything else is relatively tame compared to that area. Yeah, we're out of it. Right on. So, continue on to the lake. Totally, totally underestimated this uh, water bottle here. <laughs> A little bit of steam coming off the vehicle there. Let's see what happens. It was deep. There we go. Holy. What a surprise on that one. Well, we are officially there. Just gotta find a place to, uh, well, I can launch no problem, but finding a place to actually park is out of the way is gonna be the issue. Oh, maybe right there. Should be a good spot. There it is, Primo Lake. other lakes to go to. Yeah, I don't know if you caught that. So it just showed up here. And uh, Bald Eagle was up in the tree. Actually, just back over there. And Loon, he dove undercover as the eagle took off. So this is step two. Getting from this lake over to the next. Step one was just trying to get here, which was probably the most challenging part I'm hoping anyways. Well, we'll get, get the canoe unpacked. This is the uh, canoe I'd done a little bit of work on there for the last little bit. I wanted to get new, but I figured right now it would be a great time to just kind of, you know, go used and do a little bit of fixing up. And this is what I got. Finally out on the water. Oh, this is so nice. So hopefully I can actually get past Primo Lake here and into, uh, oh, there's a lake called Bruce Lake. And then, uh, oh gosh, I can't remember the, the, uh, the name of the other lake. But uh, it would be nice. I think it takes about four, it's about four lakes anyways, four to five lakes. So... We'll see exactly how this goes. As it is right now, the weather is beautiful. The uh, canoe is floating, so <laughs> that's a good thing anyways. Should be an awesome, awesome trip. So I'll talk with you guys in a little bit and see exactly uh, where this entrance is anyways. From what the weather was earlier this morning, to what it is now, it is definitely welcomed. It's super warm, the bugs were just nuts on shore. So, couldn't wait to actually get the canoe off and get access to the back hatch so I could actually throw the bug spray on. Hoping I can find this portage. Hopefully there is a portage, but at least access points into this other water body. Hey, say I only got a couple days, so I want to get this uh, hopefully done and over with as soon as I can. So I can set up camp and uh, hopefully catch a fish. If not, I got some uh, couple dehydrated meals and soup. Oatmeal, a few other things anyways, it's not bad. So this is uh, the first entrance into the unnamed lake. And beyond this lake is Bruce Lake. And then the other one is, uh, geez, I just had it in my head, Hogue Lake, I believe. So 
There's also a few other lakes, Connorshire Lake, uh, Tipsy Lake might be one. So there's a few other ones in here, but as long as I'm, as long as I get into Hogue Lake, Hogue Lake then I'm uh, content. We'll see anyways. Got some pretty exposed rocks right here, so. It's been a while since I've used a canoe. Cool. Let me do it. Or definitely on the right path. Hopefully this is Royal Oaks. Hating it. Just a short jaunt over here. Sure would be nice to find a portage. I think I got a portage. I'll go to shore and uh, assess this. Ooh, this could be fun. Okay, load number one packed up. Got my green bag on my back, tackle box on my shoulder, my fishing net. Looks like I'll it'll have to be a triple carry, but at least I'll get there safe and sound, anyways. That's that's the key thing. Not too bad of a portage. Had to remove a couple branches. Down into here. That's going to be the hard part. Oh. Yep, definitely going to be the hard part. Once I'm down here, it's not bad. There's some more sharp rocks in that, but... set everything here and then I'll pretty much gear most of it put the lighter stuff into it I'll carry the other stuff over but uh, yeah okay back for round two well the moment everyone's been waiting for can I make it First couple of little parts that are a little bit difficult by that dead birch. Other than that, everything else seems relatively okay. Still got some weight, this thing. We'll say that. But a hell of a lot lighter than my kayak. This is the part I'm concerned about. They would have to set this down in order to get it through. Yep. I don't necessarily want to set it down. But it's the only way it's either that or that. So. Okay, we'll get this through and I'll catch up with these. Figured I said screw it. 
I'm just going to drag this thing down a little bit further so that way at least I have greater access but it looks like it will be short lived so well I can see the bottom it leads out to that water body there anyways which I believe I'll be able to make it into Bruce Lake awesome bunch of minnows they're everywhere so the bonus is with no uh, actual portage means those not many people coming in here great for me not so great for the canoe okay let's get part two done that little water body was very short-lived so once again a little bit of a triple carry but is what it is what concerned me the most is potentially one of these rocks rolling and I wipe out It was tough. My bones break. Well, back in the canoe. So, balloon right over in front there. I don't know if you guys seen them. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> that was a good little workout. But at least I got her done. Now, this body of water, from what I don't know the name, but I know right past this is Bruce Lake. So. Take a tour around, see what it's all about. A lot of minnows and all that, so definitely fish in here. A lot of deer flies too. But it is what it is. So I got into this lake and uh, this body of water, anyways. Yeah, uh, and uh, I was thinking to myself, well, it's still about another good couple kilometers at least at least one portage being roughly about a half a kilometer do i want to uh potentially risk it even though i only have a couple days off a couple days here before i gotta head back or do i just want to go and check out at one of these smaller islands they have on this lake and uh set up camp there this one in front of me actually looks really nice so i think i'm gonna go check that out and uh, see what it's all about. It looks pretty promising anyways. We'll see. So site one is a maybe. Uh, very windy in that area right at the moment. Not a whole lot of wood. But I do kind of like it. However, I was kind of peeking around the corner and I thought I had seen something over here. So check it out. This is a good sized body of water anyways. Definitely gonna be fishing here. 
just what kind of fish we don't know but i'm thinking spec for for sure not 100 percent positive i could be completely wrong but the surrounding lakes hold trout speckled trout lake trout so you know i would think that that's this would hold uh trout as well I thought this might have been a good island as well. However, even though it it has ample amount of dead wood, it doesn't look like the uh, trees are uh, close enough together. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll look around. If not, it's right back to uh, my first spot. At least I know where I can get ample amount of wood for a fire anyways. Just wanted to, uh, the wind to die down. Hmm. I'll look around. I circled this little island and I got on shore and I figured, you know, I'll take a look around and see what I think about it anyways. If there's actually a location to put my hammock up. Well, it turns out there's a pretty decent little spot. So that tree right there is going to be one and tied off. Same thing as this one here. Definitely going to be strong enough. So once I actually get that trimmed up, this will be my view. I like it. I really do. So get everything unpacked and... Uh, Start setting up my hammock. Well, Silky Saw made short work of everything. So now, set up a uh, hammock. Sounds like I've got a couple birds up in the uh, tree up there. Give me a minute, and we'll get her going. Okay, so bear with me. This is my first time setting this up. This is in case it gets a little bit too warm tonight or throughout my next couple days. This is my puffle. This thing's an amazing quilt. Part of my Inferno sleeping system. Amazing, amazing thing. Is the other part I went all out so <laughs> that was my uh, air mattress it's actually my pillow it's called the Puffalo Plus there's the other part that's a Puffalo UL so that actually slides into the uh, Buffalo Plus and you inflate it. This is my rain fly. We're going to start with that first. Here's my hammock. First things first, I pull the uh, towel and suspension out of there. And I want to find the other attachment for my hammock. Find that in a minute. First I'll put up my towel and suspension. So what I do with this Feed this through this loop. I go up as high as I can. Trying to get 
up nice and high. I said I don't want to choke, choke the tree. So, should be okay, I'm hoping. So, trying this. Probably going to be doing this all wrong, but... <laughs> Well, I had to spare you the uh, brutal nightmare that was trying to set this up during the windstorm. It got pretty strong, actually, to tell you the truth. But I managed to get it done. And do you want to see the coolest camping setup I've ever seen? Check this out. Introducing the Sierra Madre Ninox Air Camping Setup. Air camping? Well, not on the ground. So I have my gear stash right there. Of course, there's my fly with my pole kit. This, uh, thing, this thing just looks amazing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, definitely like that. So I got my gear stash. I got my Inferno under quilt. And of course, my Inferno top quilt. Now, if anybody thinks about top quilts, under quilts, and sleeping bags, when you lay on a sleeping bag, you actually compress that loft that you that you use to keep yourself warm. Well, in a, in a hammock, it's a little bit more challenging to do. For one thing, try and get into a sleeping bag, and for another thing, you lose that loft. So your that constant air is just blowing right at you. So that's the uh, significance of a, an actual underquilt. So this one here, eight hundred fill. Um, like a waterproof uh, water resistant uh, down and then I have my top quilt in here excuse me give me a second here so in here I got my top quilt it's got a hood built into it same thing as 800 fill down water resistant down it's got a an amazing foot box and of course no back as anybody would know, know with a with a, a top quilt because that's what the importance of an of an under quilt is so between that and my uh puffalo plus pillow i got a feeling i'm gonna have an amazing sleep
like absolutely amazing zippers the quality on everything on this is just absolutely fantastic i will say that very very top quality stuff yes. got a beaver right there barely see his head right there Pretty rugged out here, anyway. But yeah, the uh, the wind the wind is just insane right at the moment, and uh, I'm actually quite... that thing's handling it like a champ. The one real key thing I see right now, as compared to a tent, is the uh, rain flies not really slammed up against the uh, you know the screen mesh whatsoever. As compared to a tent, it would be right now. So those that pole kit is actually really holding it, holding up quite well, and uh, for keeping it from touching the, uh, you know, touching the screen. Right now it's relatively calm, but it was uh, it was one blowing really hard there a little while ago. This is extremely comfortable. A little warm but very, very, very comfortable. Morning. Well, last night I slept amazingly. Even though the temperature did drop uh, quite a bit actually, and the uh, winds, the winds just never really settled down. I'm on the backside of the island with the canoe over here just to try and get out of that wind. It's uh, It's been pretty haywire anyways. So fortunately on the backside of the island, it's a little bit better. I am surprised the mosquitoes are out, especially with the temperature, but, oh well, it is what it is. Threw on a little bit of bug spray, and they are just kind of hovering around. But, didn't want to get out of bed. Holy jeez, I was just so comfortable just sleeping in there. Winds would pick up a little bit there, I'd throw the hood on top, and just <laughs> cozier than you could imagine. That pillow was fantastic, holy jeez. It, it was it was a great sleep all around. So I'm just kind of sitting around over here, slowly waking up and that, and then hopefully the uh, the weather cracks. It, it actually gets some sunny weather out, but I don't know. Oh well, I said I'll slowly wake up. Maybe I'll have uh, maybe I'll start up a little fire or something, anyways, to have a coffee in a little bit. But right at the moment, I'm just kind of soaking in this nature it's just beauty around here there's a little waterfall over there i can hear it so hopefully if the weather gets a little better i'll go over and take a look So between the wind, the temperature, and the uh, rain that we had actually just hit a little while ago, I uh, had to throw up this tarp. It's just give me a little bit of added protection around here. That's why I'm stuck right underneath the hammock the entire time. So it's nothing special. Just a tarp. But it allowed me to actually uh, put my pole kit back on though. Not as much wind here anymore, anyways. At least now. So yeah, uh, hopefully the wind settles down there, and I want to get out and get out in the canoe or whatever. But right now it's just too brutal to do anything. It's uh, unfortunate, but it's kind of the way it goes, anyways. So, well, we'll see in a little bit. If not maybe I'll just take a nap again in my hammock. <laughs>
Definitely not the best weather out there. It is what it is. Okay, well, I've had it. I want to go up and do a little fishing. I know it's windier than hell, but try something anyways over by that waterfall has been driving me up the wall I wanted to go and fish in that little area so badly so screw it that's some warm over here let me get this ready guys on the water. Just trying to see if I can't find a spot to be able to park or land. It looks like quite a drop too. At least by looking at the tree line. i park over here. Well, Stop over here for a minute. Do a little bit of fishing and see if I can't catch anything. So I've, so far, I've only had a perch. So I don't I don't like seeing that because normally when uh, perch come in here, they kind of take up these little lakes that are normally full of trout. Doesn't necessarily mean there isn't trout. There's something hitting my line. I don't know what they are. Definitely not a perch. Let the canoe do its thing. Apparently, it doesn't like out going out there. Now I got that all organized. Let's see if I can't. safe terrain. Beauty. <clears throat> now it's if we can catch something. I don't know what it is. Rock bass. So, that's the second species that I've caught out of here. 
Those other metal do not, they did not look like that. So what species that is, I don't know. So this just caught oh, a shiner. Yeah, shiner minnow. Oh, wow. You was wasting no time getting out of here. Yeah. So, that'd be another one. There's something else here, I don't know what it is. Fought for a second and then died out. Oh, a perch. Up and casting here a little bit now. So, I think this last cast here, I'm going to reel in, hop inside the canoe, and uh, go find another spot to go. Let's see, I've already caught, what was it, the minnow and the perch already on this lure. Let's see how many other species I can catch. That's definitely not lacking driftwood around here frog right there still has its tail yeah, right there early stages Ooh. it doesn't help having like a 40 pound backpack on I wouldn't think it'd be 40. 20 for sure, though. That new backpack tackle box there, that's quite handy anyways. Okay, let me get things geared up and be on my way. Oh guys, that wind is really strong as soon as I got out of there. <laughs> I'm having a hard time even just trying to get over here. Is that pretty far in? Somewhere out this way. can't make this right now well looks like I'm gonna head for sure and then hopefully the wind will die down hopefully
finally, after two days of nasty winds, rain, cold temperatures, it's finally settled down where I can actually have a fire. That is just the icing on my cake, you know. I was, well, I was hoping to come out here and catch some trout and, you know, make it into Bruce Lake and that. After trying that first portage and realizing that I don't have a whole lot of time uh, to really get this done, that maybe be better off I just settle on this island and, uh, you know, try out my new hammock setup and, you know, have a fire and just relax and uh, try out the canoe too. So I managed to achieve both both of those goals, actually all of them, except for the trout. But, uh, you know, I'm really enjoying this. Really enjoying this last little bit there, you know. I wish I would have had more days where it was a little bit more comfortable out, but unfortunately it is what it is. Fortunately, I got that Bisco tasting trip in a couple of days. So get back home tomorrow, have one day off to uh, purchase a roof rack and get a few th other things going on. And then uh, I'll be good with that trip too. So, till the morning, have a good night. Morning. Well, yet another great sleep. It's about 5.42 in the morning. Guess I should start getting up soon and packing down and uh, heading out of here, unfortunately. Gonna miss this spot, kind of. Well, there we go. Everything's all packed up. Nice and clean. Let's get moving. Just gonna take a little bit of a trek. A couple portages. I'll be back in no time. Still hoping to catch that one elusive fish. So we'll see that happens I'll cast around here for a little bit I don't know we might get lucky Something. Oh, a little perch. Okay, relax, relax, relax. Now where are you? Tiny little guy. If we get anything else, I'll be back. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see from up here, the 
the world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free weather like days like today usually the last couple days were just brutal for wind rain wasn't so bad but it was there and temperatures were cold too fortunately for my uh, inferno system it really helped out a lot I can honestly say I was not cold once not while I was in there day right now I think my uh, portage starts over there someplace yeah well here's my uh, takeout stuff in front here I'll get to shore and carry my first load up there. Well, get it all up there and then uh, put into that little pond area and then uh, cut across that and then uh, for the other portage. Just want to check something out here. Instead of going that way, I wonder if I can go this way instead. So, and not to mention that little pond is up there. So I want to see if I can't cast my line in it. Maybe catch something. So of course I wouldn't go this way. I'd go over off to the side. I thought wrapping around there might be a little easier. I would have loved to have said yes, but... I don't think so. Huh. It'd be a much shorter distance. But then I got these logs right logs right here to attend to. Huh. This just looked too enticing the last time. So I wanted to get. I think I get to anything. A lot of snags. Huh. Sunfish went after it, but that's it. Not much room. Okay, uh, we better get at this. So I figured instead of portaging all the way up and around that rock and then all the way up to the dam there, I'll just cut across right over here and then just drag it up over here. There's a couple more logs to tend to, but I'm sure that'll be fine. Heck of a lot easier anyways. Yep. Get this done. Oh, 
They got tadpole swimming right there. It work out just fine. I'm free. Doesn't matter which one, I guess. I did prep for this one. Okay, I'm sure. I'll grab at least a couple of bags. They don't necessarily need to be in there. This is not too, too bad. Let's see what the weight's like. A lot better than what it was. I don't think there's anything too bad. Thunderhead. <laughs> yeah. Figured. <sighs> yeah, where to put it? Thinking maybe. Could go right here. Doesn't look too too bad. A few rocks. I'll have to just get in on the other side of it. And if I get her in right here, she might not be that bad. Hopefully that log will lay down. <laughs> log might not lay down. That's okay. Throw the gear in. I shall get it over here a little bit more. Uh, 
All right, let me go back for the gear over it. Well, I will say that first part was a little bit of a challenge. I uh, just threw everything at the back, so of course, trying to get over a couple of logs was a little bit of a pain in the rear. Last one until the final portage. That's the one that I'm hoping for just a couple minutes. Charge your head. <laughs> Here's another boat. <sighs> oh, there. <sighs> Mountain goat. Do some form of a path. Gotta get these bags set up. The storm's starting to roll in. I think I still got the canoe, my rod, my paddle, and that. I think I can carry that all with me. If not, that's the last stuff. Then the canoe. Fortunately, this is the last body of water to get in before I take out. Okay. Drink of water and get this done. I think straight up is about the best bet. Straight up here, then get her in and uh, there's 90 around there. Okay. <laughs> the potage is one thing, the bugs too. Holy geez. Yeah, watch this stuff is super slippery. I don't know if you heard that in the distance, but that was a rumble and a thunder. Oh. Looks like the Canadian's going to officially get some real dings on it. Okay. <sighs> 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 
Just about up. Just about. Oh, holy jeez. Oh, need a break from that one. Now, you just hopefully drag it the rest of the way. The ground seems relatively soft, no major issues, other than the fact this rope is getting caught in my GoPro mount. Okay, I'll get by with you guys in a bit. I want to get out of here before the rain starts. Well, finally out of there anyways. The last one done. So now, just paddle my butt back to my vehicle, load up, and hopefully get out before the rain starts. Well, there she is. A few more paddles and I'll be there. So what can I say about these last couple days? Definitely windy, definitely uh, dropped in temperature too, uh, a little bit wet, but re nevertheless, it was an adventure, something to do. Um, it's unfortunate and fortunate that I'm going to Biscotasian in the next couple days, you know, unfortunate because I would have really liked to see this area a little bit more, but well, fortunately, I'm going to be go catching a lot of fish. I assume anyways. But the, uh, so that Sierra Madre hammock setup, that uh, that was amazing. That actually blew my mind on how comfortable that is. I had uh, a cheap $50 one from Amazon before, and that's what I used. This is a serious step up, I will say that. And the canoe, did this thing ever take a beating? And uh, still held up? Um, I'm pleasantly pleased, I will say that anyway. So I definitely don't have any issues for uh, Bisco tasting coming up there in the next couple days. So, uh, till next time, I hope you guys all have a great one. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. 